Hello everyone and welcome to Know Your Drug, powered by Medi Insights. The ultimate destination for all things of health and wellness from the fascinating world of medicals and pharmaceuticals. We are here to guide you on octreotide injection, exploring the various aspects of octreotide, their usage, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and most importantly, essential advice for taking them safely and responsibly. Before we begin, let me emphasize that the content provided in this channel is purely educational. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice regarding medications. Now, let's get started. Use of octreotide injection. Octreotide injection is primarily used to treat symptoms associated with certain types of cancers and hormonal disorders. It is effective in managing severe diarrhea and flushing caused by metastatic carcinoid tumors and vasoactive intestinal peptide secreting tumors. Additionally, it is utilized in treating acromegaly, a condition characterized by excessive growth hormone production, and to prevent complications after pancreatic surgery. Next, dosage of octreotide injection. The dosage of octreotide varies based on the condition being treated and the patient's response. For acromegaly, the initial dosage typically starts at 50 micrograms injected subcutaneously two or three times daily, which may be adjusted based on patient response. For carcinoid tumors and vasoactive intestinal peptide secreting tumors, the dosage may begin at 100 to 600 micrograms daily, divided into two to four doses. Long-acting formulations are available, such as Sandostatin LAR, administered intramuscularly every four weeks, with doses ranging from 20 to 30 milligrams. Next, mechanism of action of octreotide injection. Octreotide is a synthetic analog of somatostatin, a natural inhibitor of several hormones. It works by binding to somatostatin receptors, reducing the secretion of growth hormone, serotonin, and various peptides like insulin and glucagon. This inhibition helps control symptoms like diarrhea, flushing, and hormone-related growth issues by decreasing excessive hormone production and secretion. Next, side effects of octreotide injection. Common side effects include gastrointestinal disturbances such as nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea, injection site reactions, and gallstones due to reduced bile flow. Other possible side effects are hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, bradycardia, hypothyroidism, and vitamin B12 deficiency with long-term use. Next, important advice for using octreotide injection. Patients should follow their healthcare provider's instructions carefully regarding dosage and administration techniques. Regular monitoring of blood glucose levels and thyroid function is advised, as octreotide can affect endocrine function. It's important to rotate injection sites to avoid tissue damage. Patients should report any severe side effects, such as severe abdominal pain or signs of gallstones, to their healthcare provider promptly. Additionally, periodic evaluations are necessary to adjust the dosage and ensure the effectiveness of the treatment. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the use, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and important advice for using octreotide injection. Remember, knowledge is power, and being well-informed empowers you to make the best decisions for your health.